And, and I really want to emphasize and highlight the running back position because what has happened in recent years is we saw running backs or elite running backs become devalued. In many ways, they were pushed aside. We got to the point where many coaches or, or GMs thought or believed that they were interchangeable. That, eh, we can get rid of a running back. We'll just plug a guy in. We'll just grab a guy in the seventh round. We'll grab a guy, you know, off the uh, off free agency, even midway through the season. Like, we, we've seen that. And even in some ways, Kansas City continues to prove that because they grab Kareem Hunt, and, <laughs> and he's, he's out there doing well. But, but what we're also seeing is the resurgence of the position because we are seeing who are the best players this year? Saquon Barkley, Derrick Henry. You could throw Lamar in there, Josh Allen in there, but, but those two are really standing out week in, week out. The performances that they are, are putting up where they are running and dominating all over the field, just, just absolutely blasting through defenses, I mean, Derrick Henry gets into the end zone every week. Saquon seems like multiple times, huge runs. You can't tackle him. You, you can't stop him. And, and so the fascinating part about this is the Giants decided, no, nah, we, don't, we don't need Saquon Barkley. We'll find somebody else. <laughs> How's that working for you? I like Tyrone Tracy, but he's no Saquon Barkley. Uh, Devin Singletary, uh, nice little veteran running back. He's not Saquon Barkley. And how are the Giants doing without him? Yeah, bleak, bleak. We'll, we'll start talking about who they're going to draft at quarterback and who their next head coach is. While Saquon Barkley is saying, ooh, the playoffs will be fun with the Eagles. Can we make a run? And, and then with Baltimore, Derrick Henry. All right, the Titans thought, yeah, let's move on from Vrabel and the ship is sailed with Derrick Henry. He's an older running back. Yeah, he probably doesn't have much left in the tank. That's all right. We'll let him go. Derrick Henry, Baltimore Ravens. They're feeding him. They're feeding him all day, every day, and he's lighting it up. Uh, and so, and of course, they're in contention for the Super Bowl, and he might be exactly what they needed to get over the hump to to beat to beat Kansas City. But but what's so interesting is you know in recent years we we saw GMs put all their money quarterbacks, wide receivers, and then on defense, how do we stop wide receivers? How do we stop quarterbacks? And this year though. Across the board, we are seeing running backs, the resurgence, they're, they're revealing their value again, and it'll be interesting to see if that translates to their next contracts, but this offseason was, uh, it was just so wild because all these running backs switched teams. One team said, now they're not valuable, but then another team said, no, well, we, we think they're valuable, but, but they all swapped. Aaron Jones in uh, Minnesota, and then you, you've got Josh Jacobs in, in Green Bay. Uh, even Austin Eckler goes to Washington. And, and so now we look at the NFL, and who are the top teams? Most of them have a premier running back, and they're running the ball really well. 